Welcome to our video edition of Learn with LBSI for the month of November 2020 on how to use email groups. We are going to cover system settings, print preferences settings, email group setup, business partner contact email group selection, sending documents to multiple business partners and multiple business partners contacts at once via the usage of email groups. Let's get started. SAP Business One Enhanced Email functionality allows more options for sending documents like invoices to customers and other business partners. In previous versions, you could use the SBO mailer when sending mails from SAP Business One. When this is used, the SBO mailer service must be configured and started in the SAP Business One Service Manager. Starting at release 9.1, you can also use Microsoft Outlook when sending mails automatically. You may also use email groups in order to email multiple documents to multiple recipients all in one go. First, let's review the settings to make this happen. First, let's verify which company level setting default email method is selected. We'll navigate to Administration, System Initialization, General Settings, and in the Service tab, we're able to verify that the default email method currently company-wide is Outlook email, meaning that any document being sent out to customers will be sent out from Outlook email on a separate window. Next, we'll select the Path tab. Here, we want to make sure that the Attachments folder is selected and available. Next, we're going to define how each document type is to be handled. We're going to navigate to Main Menu, Administration, System Initialization, Print Preferences. In the Print Preferences window, select the Per Document tab. From the drop-down list, select a relevant document and check the relevant boxes when adding document. In our example, we'll verify AR Invoice. As soon as a document is added, the following actions will take place automatically. Here we have checked Print Document and Email Document. As soon as the document is added, the Print Document will create a personal record for myself and the email will be automatically emailed with the attachment of said document to the contact on the document. When defining the Print Preferences window, you can also define default text for the automatic email subject and body lines. Click Insert Predefined Text button to copy text that is already defined in the system. As this relates to an AR invoice, we will select the Invoice Text Code, which mentions Please Find Attached AR Invoices Due This Month. The same can be done for the email body. You are also able to insert predefined text by selecting Insert Predefined Texts. As this relates to invoices, we will also select Invoices. If you're not satisfied with the email body or the email subject line, you are able to customize said email subject or email body. Once you're satisfied with this document settings, go ahead and click Update. Select your next documents from the drop-down list and continue with the presets. Next, we'll be setting up email groups. SAP allows you to set up email groups in which individuals are able to be connected to and therefore selected so that the file or files are sent in one go. In order to set up these email groups, we'll navigate to Administration, Setup, Business Partners, and select Email Group. In the Email Group Setup window, you're able to set up as many email groups as you feel is necessary. They will have a code and a name. In our example, we have Accountants, Executive Team, Finance Team, Logistics Team, and Sales Team. Alternatively, if we navigate to Business Partners and open the Business Partner Master Data, let's bring up our Customer MaxiTag. If we go to Contacts Persons, you may select the Email Group field and click on Define New in order to define a new email group. Once the email group has been defined, select the respective email group from the drop-down list and click Update. Now, the individual is connected to the email group of Executive Team. Under each business partner, assign relevant contacts to their relevant email groups. 
Repeat the step for all relevant business partners and contact persons. Once you have made the update to all relevant business partners and business partner contacts, click OK to go back to the main menu. Now, we are going to select the document or documents to be emailed via Outlook using the email groups. We will now navigate to Main Menu, Financials, select Document Printing. Use this window to enter selection criteria for the documents in our example from the drop-down. We have selected AR invoices. Select also the range of posting date. Here we have from July 1st to October 10th, related to batch serial numbers if they exist. This is when batch or serial numbers exist for the document and you can also select to either email the document only, the batch and serial number only, or the document and batch serial number information. We'll leave it with document and batch serial number if it exists. You're able to select from a range of codes. In our case, we will select our first customer, MaxiTech, and our last customer from the list. You're also able to use customer groups or vendor groups and also properties. Related to the documents, we're only verifying the only open documents at this time. You can also choose to have only documents still to be printed, documents that are only still be emailed, and if you like, you're able to exclude canceled and cancellation marketing documents from being emailed to your customers. By clicking OK, the list of available AR invoices to be emailed or printed are shown. By selecting the first row and holding Shift down on the keyboard and selecting a range of documents you like to send, you can also click on Control on your keyboard and selecting specific rows. In our case, we're going to select all rows to be emailed. Once we have selected the documents we would like to email, click on File, Send, Outlook Email. A system message would ask you if you want to set print or, in this case, email format for all selected invoices. By selecting yes, we're able to verify that the system will report as invoice only, invoice and payment in succession, or AR invoice plus payment. As we know these are open still, we will only want the invoice. Click OK. An email option window pops up that requests us to understand if we want to use the email group or just a respective business partner contact for said document. In our case, we will like to use the email group. Here is where we're going to specify which email group is going to receive said documents. We will select executive team. By clicking OK, the email AR invoices window will show the document number, the path, the file name, the attachment date, who is receiving said email and their specific email addresses, the subject line, and the body lines. Related to subject lines, if you like to customize the subject or the body of the email, you may do so in this window. By double-clicking, you are able to select and delete and override the message related to the email. Related to the to and their email addresses, we can see that on the last document, we do not have a specific email address related to the document being sent. For that, we must correct under the business partner and attach the correct email and email group to the contact to show in this window. For that, we will open the document. We will click on the golden arrow for the particular business partner. Navigate to contact persons. And here we'll decide who should be receiving the email. In our case, we're going to send to Luke Hardy as he is the CIO. He already has an email in the system, however, no email group attached to said email. By selecting Executive Team and clicking Update, we will now be able to connect Luke Hardy to the document to be received. Turn back to the selection criteria. We'll click OK once again. And now we see that the Luke at Rivera.com email address populates automatically. Once you're satisfied with the emails, 
in the email subject lines, body lines, we are able to click send in order to send emails. Multiple documents were sent to multiple business partners and within these business partners, multiple recipients received the same document in with just one click. Having now been able to send those emails in one go and now navigating to our Outlook window, we're able to verify under sent items emails that were sent to our customers. Here we have our last example from the previous window to look at Reveri.com and we see that we have not only the AR invoice, but also the serial number transactions report that was sent to him. Here we have the actual document that was sent and the serial number transaction information by clicking the preview file. We are able to verify that both Max and Amanda at the same time received the same AR invoice 1056. We're able to review that by clicking the preview file here we see the document number 1056. Related to Amanda, we're also able to see the preview file and she also received the same 1056 invoice. The same can be seen for Judy and for Megan. Judy received not only the AR invoice 1057, as we can see here, but also she received the batch serial number transactions report and also the serial number transactions report. The same can be said for Megan. She also received AR1057, the batch number transactions report, and the serial numbers transaction report. Another useful financial document emailing that can be done is navigating to financials, financial reports, under accounting, clicking on aging and customer receivables aging. You are able to define the business partner code range you like to select and the post dating range related to the aging date. In our example, we're gonna go back 90 days to today's date. By clicking OK, the customer receivables aging report shows three different business partners, MaxiTech, Parameter Technology, and River Inc. As you would like to email the documents to them, navigate to File, click Send, Outlook. Differently from our previous example, this time we're going to send these documents to the accountants. By selecting the accountants from the drop-down on the email group and clicking OK, the email customer receivables aging shows the customer number, the source path, the file name, when it's being attached, who is receiving, their email address. However, currently there are no subject or body lines. By double clicking subject lines, we are able to insert predefined texts if we would like. As this is receivables aging, we are able to select receivables aging and click choose. By double-clicking body line, we are able to either insert predefined texts or customize our email body. Here we have added, Dear customer, please find attached to this email the receivables aging as it stands up today. Best, Jason Butler. By clicking OK, we will do the same for the following lines. Now that we have configured our subject and body lines, we will click Send to send these documents with one click. As we navigate to our Outlook window, under the Sent folder, we are able to see the emails that were sent to MaxiTech, Parameter, and River Inc. We are also able to verify that the document was sent successfully by clicking on the document and clicking Preview File. Here we are able to see the customer statement for River Inc. This concludes the presentation of how to use email groups, bringing us to the tip of the day. Tip of the day, create your own shortcuts in SAP Business One. Use the customize window to define your own shortcut keys for opening frequently used windows. To access the window, navigate to Tools, My Shortcuts, and click on Customize. In the Customize window, the List tab lists all the shortcut keys and the windows to which those keys are already allocated. On the Allocation tab, you choose the shortcut keys for selected windows. The Allocation tab is divided in two panes, 
The left pane displays modules in SAP Business One. The right pane displays windows in the selected module. In the shortcut dropdown, select a shortcut key to allocate to a window. And in the window, which window you would like to assign. Click on Allocate to save the settings. In our example, when we press the F2 short key, the Sales AR Sales Order window will open. Enhance email functionality with the ability of using email groups to reach multiple business partners and their contacts is one of many tools that SAP Business One offers to automate and make your reporting and delivery easier. Join us as we help you learn more about SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.